Maybe, maybe if, if I just, I compile, just compile it again, maybe if I just again, compile it again, it'll, it'll just, just start, start working. working. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks, welcome back. This time we are going to do a whole bunch of widgets. Actually, not even a whole bunch. Oops, don't want to mess with my quick time. I want to go to Android Studio. I want to tell it that I want a new project. We've seen this all before, but I'm just going to do it real quickly now. Instead of having an empty activity, I'm going to grab a basic activity because it sets up a couple more things. Fragments are coming, people. Don't worry. It sets up a couple more things that we are going to play with. So today we're just going to talk about widgets, try to keep these sessions bite-sized. And talking about widgets mostly means you're in the XML world. So we're looking at the layout of our project. Uh, it drops us into content main by default, which is nice. I like to just see where some of these things are because it's sort of I'm not so crazy about MIP map. I want to see a preview. And this here is a little trick I've learned that you might want to set this API level to 23 or automatically pick best uh, in order to get the best preview. However, things look pretty good here. And so when we talk about widgets, we're talking about XML files. And here is an XML file where we have uh, a text view and we're going to add something else. It's defined as a relative layout. We're going to get into layouts really next time. But I am going to do this as a linear layout. And when you do a linear layout, you need to specify the orientation. We're going to do a vertical orientation. So you can see here that we have things like the width, the height, some padding. And these are universal to all of our objects, and they mean the same thing in web programming as in Android programming. So when we talk about the width and height, there are two sort of important default values that you often see. I think you can hear my cat. Um, so uh, one important defo de default value, or not sort of default value, but um, value you can set easily is match parent. Match parent says, hey, whatever object I'm embedded in, make my width the width of my parent. And for the root layout, that means make me as wide as the entire screen, which sure makes a lot of sense. Same thing for height here. I'm matching my parent, my, my null parent, which is uh, the entire uh, vertical section of the phone or tablet. The other uh, common value you see for width and height is wrap content. Now wrap content says make me as big as I need to be in order for me to hold whatever it is I have to hold. And if I'm a text view, I'm holding some text. If I'm an image view or an image button, button, I'm holding an image. And make me as big as I need to be. And uh, I mean, as big as I need to be. And you can see it's getting bigger. And in fact, if we kind of go up here and say, uh, look, it even, it even wrapped uh, Android text size. Remember to do text and SP. Let's see. Hello world. And I'm as big as I need to be. So a couple of things we can notice just by uh, what's happened here. First is that, as I said, we wrap the line. Uh, that is because we are saying we are in, in we're, we're wrapping our content, but we are embedded within an object that has a particular uh, width and height. And uh, by default, text view will will wrap. You can get a text view that's uh, one line only and won't wrap, or one line only and then gives you a scroll bar. Uh, there's also this padding thing. You'll notice that this text. Uh, view sort of is nicely not 
ramming itself into the edges here. And here we have padding for, explicit padding for top right, bottom left. We can get rid of all that and just do Android padding, say, oh, we'll work up to 16 dp, but if we just say 0 dp, oh, look at this, now we're we're right up against the edge. So it's keeping us away from the edge is this padding and the design people tell us that people like padding. So we give it to them. Okay. And text view, text size. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So those are some of the basic things you can take a look at. Um, one other little random thing we can convince Android to do different text styles. So you know, say bold here if you want. And it's also it's perfectly fine to pop on over to design uh, and say, hey, you know, what's, go what's going on here? What, what do I have at my disposal? You can just sort of look like, oh yeah, linear layouts, I mean, frame layouts a little bit more advanced table layout. You can imagine what that looks like. Grid layout. So I think the more recent table layout, relative layouts we're going to get to. We're going to get to all, all sorts of layouts. Here are widgets and progress bars, things that you expect on a phone. And if you ever sort of want to see what some of these things look like, just grab it and pull it in here. Here, we'll grab a seek bar. So maybe we'll use that in a future project. And uh, I also want to grab a button. So let's grab a button and you can see it's saying, it's sort of guessing, it's saying, hey, do you want me to center this button? Um, and in fact, we, we are going to want it centered and so we're going to see uh, well, what that happens, but uh, see what happens when we do that. But I just want you to see, this is sort of the, the design part and when you're just sort of looking for stuff and grabbing it, I think the the design part is great. It's sort of this this area that we want to avoid a little bit. Um, I think looking at the pro properties in this format starts to make things look like black magic and we sort of forget about the properties that are down here. And anyway, there's some properties that are interesting. I'm not gonna talk about a lot. Alpha is transparency, where zero is transparent and one is opaque. And that allows you to do nice sort of uh, laying things on top of each other, having that come out well. Background is a background image. Okay, clickable is, you know, clickable, true or false. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, the system did to our button in order to get it to be horizontal. So first of all, it said, hey, for height and width, we're just gonna wrap whatever content we have in here. And we're gonna develop a real simple application over this in the next video I call say what so put that in there an ID it's called this button button which yeah it's fine uh, fine ID for now and it's done this thing where it says layout gravity center horizontal and that's probably sort of self-explanatory but we're definitely going to talk a lot more about gravity when we do layouts okay, underneath that is our text view, which looks like it used to look, and uh, we've got this seek bar thing in here that we're just going to get rid of because we just wanted to see sort of what did it show up as and did it have any interesting properties. So the answer is no. So the last thing I want to say about uh, properties is that we've seen sort of, I'd say two classes of property values, and I'm going to introduce a third class. So one class, well, one class, sorry, the first class is an absolute value. So uh, font needs to be this big, padding needs to be this big. Okay, this is vertical, not horizontal. Then there's a sort of abstract value, like match parent, wrap content. Center horizontal is sort of a direction. It's not a particular value. Yes, I know, Pickle, you'd like to go outside but the students need me. Okay, so um, 
right so we have so the absolute value sort of abstract value and then there's one other thing that I want to introduce and that is so if we say text appearance uh, what we can do is we can grab a value from the current style yep. and so what is a style uh, yeah, there we go. Actually, that's exactly the one I wanted. So this says, um, "Hey Android, in my current style, get me text appearance large." Actually, let me let me even go back here so that we can shop around a little bit on possible values that uh, this could take. So, all right. So text appearance large. Um, you know, there, there's a bunch of things that you can sort of look in here. And um, a style is an XML file that has a bunch of information about things like font sizes and uh, colors. And you can define your own styles based on a parent style, based on these themes that come built into Android Studio. And so it's a simple way to start organizing your layouts. We're not going to do a huge amount with style files in this class, but if you're particularly design focused, it's good to know about them. And even if you're not design focused, it's actually good to know about them, even if you don't spend a lot of time modifying them, because they are there. They are a good way of organizing your appearance. And you see references to them all the time that use this, shall we say, questionable syntax of uh, question mark. It is a questionable question mark. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our little widget tutorial, and uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will be back. For completeness, I do want to mention content, padding, border, and margin, because these apply to all of your layouts all of your widgets, and they apply both for Android Studio, for the web. This has become a fairly common vocabulary for how to deal with layout. So the content is whatever object you have, and in Android Studio, if you use wrap content, the content size is defined by the contents. Match parent, it's defined by your parent. If it's absolute, it's defined by that absolute number. Surrounding the content is padding, and then there is the border. And you can specify how thick you want your borders to be. And outside the border is margin. And so that's how far you are away from other things. So we will do a short demo of this so that you can see the difference between margin that border and padding. So coming back here, if we add to text view some padding, which we saw above, and oh, give me some quotes. We'll add some pet. Oh, now look what happened. It sort of got smaller because the border stays the same, but there's this space inside. Okay, if we add some margin, then also same thing. Oh, then it's getting further away from the outside. So the border stays the same, and now the space is being added. See, it, it's also sort of getting smaller, but it's getting smaller because the space is being added around here. Uh, if we get rid of this padding, then, you know, we're up against the border. And let's see, uh, what do we have? Do we have anything for border? Border, border size, no. Border, 
Well, I actually don't know if there is a uh, should I work that out in advance? Okay. Well, that's a uh, layout and uh, that's padding and margin.